What is going on everybody? Welcome to the third part of our Keltner Channels uh, mini-series within our Python Mathematics and Finance Indicator series. Where we left off, we were actually programming the Keltner Channels, and now we actually want to graph them up and see if we really did do our job right. So that's what we're going to be doing in this video. If you don't already have the sample code, you need to click the link in the description. I should take you to this page, and you want to click on sample code with empty slot, even though we won't be using that empty slot. Uh, and then just highlight it, go all the way to the bottom, copy it, move that aside, paste it into a nice empty uh, screen here. And actually, we don't want to program it into here. We want it to be on the same axes as uh, the actual prices. So scroll up a little bit, and we're going to put them right here. So under AX1.plot and this AV1, AV2 stuff, just make like a bunch of space. Now, uh, what we want to do is come over here. Wow, that went missing. Anyways, uh, come over here. We'll get rid of this. And we really need to highlight and copy everything up to ATR. And so we'll take that, copy that, come over here, paste it in. We need to indent this now twice. Oh, my bad. I wasn't even on the screen. <laughs> uh, good stuff. So uh, I pasted it in, right? I highlighted all that stuff, copied it, and pasted it in. And then I'm just highlighting it here and tab, tab, so it's aligned. So now we'll come down here. And now we actually want to plot, like, this stuff, right? So once we've done that, we actually want to, like, show this, like, these bands, right? So we're going to say ax1.plot, and we're going to plot date minus sp colon if you want to know why we're doing that uh check the charting stocks video ul whoops lowercase ul minus sp colon um then we're going to do we're going to plot this line as a cyan line and now what i'm going to go ahead and do is copy and paste this three times and so paste paste and this will be our ml and this will be our ll lower line now, when we graph it, well, let's go ahead and try and graph it, and then I'll work, we'll work on getting rid of some of the stuff that we don't want. So let's go ahead and run it and see if it even runs. Sock to plot, Starbucks, please, sir. That's a lot of output. Probably, um, I guess it's ATR probably printing something. Yep. <laughs> so I'm just going to delete that from ATR so we don't have to see that again. Save. Uh, and then also do, yeah, that was all we printed out. So anyway, we can see it there. But as you can probably see, we've got like a lot of friggin' lines. And it's because we've got this 10 SMA and 50 SMA. Now, if you want to leave them there, that's cool. That's, you know, whatever you want to do. Uh, but it gets kind of a, a little busy. So either you would change the color maybe, or we can just get rid of those. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is move this aside. Uh, we're going to scroll up a little bit. Here's where they're plotted. And not only do we have to get rid of those, but we have to get rid of the legend that displays them. So just do a control F and type in legend. That should take you here and just comment out this whole like legend stuff. And now when we graph this, let's graph Starbucks again. Uh, it's just that, you know, the, the uh, Keltner channels now. So uh, if you wanted to clean it up, that's how you can, how you can go ahead and do it. So now we're um, plotting up our Keltner channels, which I think are a little bit better than the Bollinger Bands. So uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. Hopefully you learned something you're interested in. Uh, as always, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support and the subscriptions. And until the next video.